And joining me now is Paula Beckerley, Director of Programs for the Greater Boston Community Exchange. Paula, thank you for being here. Hi, thank you very much for having me. So what is the Community Exchange? The Community Exchange is one of the, the programs of Circle of Hope mm -hmm. that focuses on helping people in need in the greater Boston area. Mm -hmm. uh, we collect clothing and small household goods mm -hmm. that we then distribute. These are all donated items and we distribute them to various shelters and programs mm -hmm. in greater Boston that mm -hmm. serve the homeless and people in need. How many shelters do you deliver goods to? Um, currently we have about 10. Mm -hmm. uh, we're always looking around and learning about additional programs, mm -hmm. identifying uh, programs that have needs that we can fill. Do they contact you or do you actively search out different shelters and organizations to give items to? We have actively sought out some. Uh, we've had people that have brought our attention to some programs. There's a program in Cambridge called On the Rise, mm -hmm. which is for women who are um, on the street, mm -hmm. and it's a day program. Uh, we learned about that through a friend. Uh, we also learn about programs um, because of shelters having closed, uh, some have closed in the past that we were working with, and they were two family shelters. Mm -hmm. So we started to look around for family shelters because we wanted to be able to serve individuals, women, men, as well as children. Mm -hmm. And we were able to identify a shelter in Jamaica Plain called Casa Nueva Vida. One of the shelters you also service is Project Hope. Yes, correct. And we actually had the opportunity to go with you guys to Project Hope. Mm -hmm. We spoke to Rosa and we have a nice little piece. Why don't we take a look at that and, and see what Rosa is all about and what Project Hope is sure. all about. Sure, sure. Project Hope is a shelter. It has multiple programs such as educational programs. It has services for housing. There's also a daycare and there's also programs for higher education. Um, actually, this month is my 21st anniversary working um, here years. at Project Hope. Um, I started out as a resident mm -hmm. here and, and so the way in which I was treated here at Project Hope with the passion um, and staff looking at my strengths and not my the challenges that I had coming into the shelter, I think is what kind of paved the way for me to want to come back and be on the other side giving service to the women because I think um, it's a critical time in women's life. You know, nobody wants to be in a shelter, nobody wants to be in that position. And so I think that one of the key things is the service that you could give to them um, with compassion, with care, and not blame the victim um, for what they're going through. You don't know what the face of a homeless person look like, and it's not just the people that, you know, the myths are about that they're alcoholics or that they're, you know, um, bag ladies, because those families too, they are human beings and they too have needs. One of the things we need to do is as individuals we need to inform ourselves and we need to educate ourselves before we judge the families that are out here you know it's not only in the inner city but this is happening in your backyard also and so i think one of the things we need to do is to inform ourselves and to find out why your families you know being homeless like you know calling up project hope for instance and or going on our website and finding out more information about homeless the homeless issue in massachusetts I give thanks for Circle of Hope because you can tell by the way they sort, by the way they prepare, by the way they deliver the clothing that they bring here, that it's being done with a sense of care towards the families that are going to be receiving it. And I think that is really important. And for many of our families, they're very poor families. They, ha they don't have a whole lot to live on. And so to be able to get a little bit of assistance with clothing for themselves or their children, I think it goes a long way. Myself, I have gone through and seen the women when they go through and, and take some of these donations, and it's really nice quality donation. And I think that makes all the difference in the, war, in the world, that just because you're homeless doesn't mean that you should have to get the worst of some used clothes. That, and so that's what I think Circle of Hope does. That's pretty incredible that Rosa was actually one of the people that was serviced by Project Hope and now she's the director. For you, going into this, how does that make you feel? It was um, wonderful. We really learned that day that Rosa had been a resident um, and it really says a lot about Project Hope and their programs. Mm -hmm. um, they provide housing for women, but they also provide educational opportunities. They train them, they help them uh, get prepared for interviews, they have 
English as a second language programs. So they really aren't just providing housing, they're helping these women really get a leg up, a step up in life, and it's really fantastic. So they're actually giving women the tools that they need to get out of homelessness and onto a career track and uh, hopefully home ownership. Exactly, and that's why we love programs like that. And there's also the Jewish Vocational Services Program in Boston, which assists refugees mm -hmm. in the same manner. They train them, they help them find jobs, often in hotel restaurant management, mm -hmm. And we provide um, both groups with um, even interview clothes mm -hmm. for those jobs. What's one of the most inspiring stories that you've come away with from, from your work with Circle of Hope? There are many, but a recent one, I was going into Boston to the Boston Health Care for the Homeless mm -hmm. to bring them some donations. And while I was unloading the car, a woman walked by with her adult son, and she said, are those donations? And I said, yes, they are. I'm bringing them here to Boston Health Care. She said, do you have any uh, sweatpants? I said, sure, I believe so. Um, you can go into Boston Healthcare and get some. She said, well, we were just there. She said, I'm very embarrassed, very embarrassed, and my son's very embarrassed, but we went in and they didn't have anything currently. I said, well, this is what this is for. I am happy to give this to you. Mm -hmm. And I did give her some. I gave her some baseball hats and a sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. And she was apologizing, and I said, don't apologize. This is what we do this for. You mm -hmm. need this, and there are many people like you that are out there. And she gave me a wonderful hug and thanked me. And um, we have many stories like that. What types of items can people donate? What are you most in need of? Um, we are most in need of new or gently used clothing for men, women, and children. Mm -hmm. uh, we often uh, need, I think the thing that we need the most right now are men's clothes. We mm -hmm. don't often get a lot. Um, and we do collect small household goods, but that's usually given to families when they're moving into permanent housing mm -hmm. and so that's on a request basis but um, clothing of any kind is mm -hmm. what we're currently looking for. And how did you get involved with Circle of Hope? Well I began assisting uh, my friend Barbara many years ago when we were running a program as she had talked about called Garage Ministry. Mm -hmm. We were collecting items in our garages and I helped start driving things to Boston. Mm -hmm. um, and then we were given space at Christ Episcopal Church to store items year-round. Mm -hmm. And we decided with that year-round storage, we could begin soliciting more donations. Mm -hmm. And in just a short time, I'd say six months, we probably tripled the volume of donations wow. that we were receiving. You mentioned to me off camera that this is something that you wanted to be involved with since you were a kid. So now that you're doing it, how does it feel? Sometimes I can't believe I'm doing it, and I truly believe it's through the inspiration of my friend Barbara that has allowed me to do this. I've always wanted to get involved in a program helping the needy, mm -hmm. but where you were really directly helping them mm -hmm. closely, not mm -hmm. just writing a check and sending a check somewhere. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that we are going into Boston mm -hmm. and that we have a particular focus and mission, and we try very hard to stay with that mission, which is to serve the needy, mm -hmm. the neediest in Boston mm -hmm. and serve directly. That's what I've enjoyed about it. Paula, thank you so much for being here and talking to us about Circle of Hope and what people can do if they have extra goods, they're looking for a place to donate, they should come see you. Exactly, or go to our website, circleofhopeonline.org. Thank you. You're welcome.